What's up, Above Average? You guys like coffee? I like coffee. I like, I like iced coffee, not hot drinks. I don't like any hot drinks, even when it's cold. But we're not talking about coffee today. We're talking about Jesus. But I like coffee, so I'm going to get some coffee. So today should be pretty short, I hope. Um, and sorry if I keep looking to the side, I gotta check the audio, make sure that it's not crazy with wind and stuff. So um, yeah, definitely like coffee. If you don't, um, that's cool. We're still friends. Again, we're, we're talking savage Christianity, how to walk this life out. And so I wanna read to you from the book of James. It, it talks about Christianity and what, what it is to be a Christian. And so um, I'm just gonna read a little bit here and, and hopefully tonight will be pretty short, um, but full of stuff that you can use. So starting in verse 19 of chapter one, it says, my dear brothers and sisters, always be willing to listen and slow to speak. Do not become angry easily because anger will not help you live the right kind of life that God wants. So put out of your life every evil thing and every kind of wrong. Then in gentleness, accept God's teaching that is planted in your hearts, which can save you. Verse 22 says, do what God's teaching says. Obviously you gotta know what that is if you're gonna do it. Do what God's teaching says. When you only listen and do nothing, you're fooling yourself. All right, so if you hear God's word and then do nothing about it, you're just fooling yourselves. Those who hear God's teaching and do nothing are like people who look at themselves in a mirror or in today's society, their selfie camera. They see their faces and then go away and quickly forget what they look like. But the truly happy people are those who carefully study God's perfect law that makes people free. So notice here that, that God's law does not condemn people. God's law does not uh, make people guilty it says that god's perfect law makes people free and i feel like we fight that a lot but the reality is is that god's law exists so that we can live the best kind of life the the freest life possible see for whatever reason we think that restriction um is a bad thing that boundaries are a bad thing boundaries are a good thing in fact god puts boundaries in place so that we can live the way that he's called us to live and that life is the best life so verse 25 says but the truly happy people are those who carefully study god's perfect law that makes people free and they continue to study it all right so it's not just a one and done thing it's not like a harry potter book where you read it and you're like okay that was good i'm good i got it i figured it out you continue to study it they do not forget what they've heard but they obey what god's teaching says those who do this will be made happy. Verse 26 then says, people who think that they're religious but say things that they should not say are just fooling themselves, all right? Um, their, quote, religion is worth nothing. Religion that God accepts as pure in and without fault is this. And he, he explains what, um, what kind of religion God wants. Um, caring for orphans, and for widows who need help and keeping yourself free from the world's evil influence so let's start at the top and it talks about putting out your 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 life putting out of your life every evil thing and every kind of wrong all right so it is important to cut out the wrong stuff and then it says to gen in gentleness accept god's teaching that is planted in your hearts which can save you so god gives us his teaching he gives us his word he gives us everything that we need for life and freedom and he says to plant ourselves there to um to in gentleness accept that don't fight this don't fight his word why because it is it is his word his law that sets us free he goes on to say that doing what god's teaching says is important not just listening not just receiving you know oh yeah i agree with that 
um, but to actually do it, to actually walk it out. And so I heard a, a story um, to, to kind of break down the belief. I think most people agree with the Bible. Most Christians, anyway, most Christians agree with the Bible um, and, and they don't really believe it. They don't believe in the Bible. Um, and so the, the story that I heard that kind of illustrates this was um, there was a tightrope walker um, sometime in history, I don't even know, um, but there was a tightrope walker and he um, he got out there and he, he was, I think he was strung up between two buildings and he was walking on this wire and he was taking this you know, wheelbarrow across it and he came off and there was big crowds and he's like, how many of you guys think that I can, you know, take somebody out in this wheelbarrow? Um, and, you know, th that they'd be perfectly safe. And everybody was cheering like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, we believe it. And then he's like, all right, who wants to get in the wheelbarrow? <laughs> and, uh, and I think one person wanted to. And that was the one person that actually believed he could do it. See, everybody else agreed, yeah, no, you could do it, just not with me. And so we've got to understand that belief in the Bible is, is action. That, that there's an action required for this faith and this, this trust and doing what God's word says, doing what God says. See, faith without works is dead, according to the Bible. Faith produces action, all right? Um, to, to do what God says means getting in the wheelbarrow, all right? Just, just, listening, just listening to the word and saying, yeah, that's good, I agree with that, all right. Um, that's, that's wonderful, and you're cheering on the guy that's on the tightrope, but you've gotta get in that wheelbarrow. And that's what he's saying. He's saying if you do, if you listen to what God's teaching and do nothing, that you're fooling yourself. It's like people looking in a mirror and they see their faces and then go away and forget what they look like. If if you take a selfie um, and then immediately forget what you look like, something's weird. That's what he's saying. Is that it's just it's just like that. When you look at the Bible, you look at God's word, you hear teaching and 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 stuff that's based on God's scripture that comes straight out of His word, and you say, well, you know, that's. That's great, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to walk any of that out. I'm just going to listen to it on Sundays or Wednesdays or on a Friday video. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of just listen to it. He's saying you're fooling that you're fooling yourself. And he shifts and he says, but the happy people, the truly happy people, are those who carefully study God's perfect law that sets people free, and they continue to study it. They don't forget what they heard, but they obey what God God's teaching says. Obeying God's teaching produces happiness like it it sounds weird because you think you know that that sounds restrictive that sounds like I've got to do this and not do that and whatever but obeying what God says produces happiness and sets us free those who do this will be made happy that's plain and simple he goes on in verse 26 and says that people that think that they're religious um, but they say things they shouldn't say that they're fooling themselves too um, that if you if you think that you're just being religious, what, what, and we use that word a lot, but what kind of religion does God want? Does He want us to say yes, no, that's good, I agree with that, and kind of show up for church, and uh, but but actually never live in relationship with Him, or does He want us to walk this thing out and do what He's called us to do? Um, and and He says that religion that God accepts as pure and without fault is this, and He says it's caring for orphans or widows who need help and keeping yourself free from the world's evil influence. Guys, this is so simple, but we make it so complicated. I wanna encourage you today, read the book of James. Uh, it's five chapters, we just read part of it, but read the book of James and see what it's like to live as a Christian. Like literally, the subtitle on the Bible, on, on this Bible anyway, is James, how to live as a Christian. So, um, I encourage you guys, read this book. It's so simple, um, and, and this will help you out tremendously if you just take a minute and look at it. Um, again, uh, I wanna encourage you guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Um, if you want constant reminders of who, who God is and who you are in Him, we have services on Sunday and Wednesday, upload a video every Friday. Um, and guys, it's, it's important to do what God's Word says. It's important to put your faith in action. Amen? Amen. Well, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and uh, you guys have a great day.